I'm here, people. I'm here. That's right, people. It's time for the raw review. I haven't did the raw review in a long ass fucking time, people. But right now I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to start off by saying this. It was actually a pretty decent raw. Anyways, the match card was they had CM Punk versus Randy Orton, uh, Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Christian versus Kane. Those are some pretty good matches if you think about it. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and start this off. So first of all, Vicky Guerrero ends up getting ends up getting fired, and I don't know what's going to go with well with her and her storyline. I don't know what she's going to do now. I'm pretty sure she's going to come back some way. Maybe she's going on vacation, then she'll come back later and take back over. But I actually thought Vicky Guerrero was funny. Excuse me, people. Excuse me. But yeah, that happened. Um, what else happened? Um, uh, right back was acting like a little bitch. He gave Vicky Guerrero a hug and told her that she deserved better than that. And I mean, it, it was cool, you know what I'm saying, to see Vince McMahon out there again and Stephanie McMahon. I just wish it was the Attitude Era again because back in the Attitude Era, it was fucking funny when Vince McMahon would get his ass whooped and Stephanie would get kidnapped by The Undertaker and, you know, she'd get fucking get hit by stunners and shit just like the men would. Back then, it was good old time, but let's talk about this role. So, yeah, like I said, we had Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus. He ended up winning. Then we had Kane versus Christian. And, you know, it's pretty good to see Christian back in the ring because it's been a long time, people. And then the Wyatt family, they made their debut. They look like a bunch of fucking redneck hicks. Then they beat the shit out of Kane, people. The fucking teddy bear. They whooped the teddy bear's ass. So I like them automatically. I fucking like them now. And they're big as fuck. One dude, I mean, they're like the same height as Kane and everything. And they fucking took the stairs and that pop right on fucking Kane's head, people. That's the type of shit that I want to see on Raw, you know what I'm saying? And by the way, Brad Maddox is the new fucking uh, GM of Raw. I don't know what's going to happen with him. He's fucking boring to me. We'll see what goes on. Then we had um, CM Punk. Oh, hold on. Let me go back real quick. We had Chris Jericho versus, um, what the fuck is his name? Um, 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 Axel. Axel, whatever the fuck his name is. I, I keep wanting to say Axel Rose because of Guns and Roses. But, um, yeah. Um, Curtis Axel. There we go. Curtis Axel, he actually lost. He got his first fucking loss, people, which is pretty upsetting to me. He lost to fucking Chris Jericho. I mean, I love Jericho, but I didn't want Curtis Axel to lose. Now you know what's going to happen. He's going to fucking become a jobber. He's going to fucking job his ass off. Then we had the main event people. Oh yeah, by the way, we actually had um, Mark Henry and Cena in the ring. And Mark Henry ended up attacking Cena. Let me tell you about this, people. I want to see Mark Henry as the next fucking champion because he deserves it, people. Sexual fucking chocolate, people. That's all you got to say is sexual chocolate and I'm gonna leave it at that. The main event, CM Punk versus Randy Orton. Surprisingly, CM Punk won. I guess that's official. Randy Orton's gonna be a fucking jobber from now on. He's not gonna win at uh, Money in the Bank. He's not gonna fucking win, people, so just accept that, all right? Um, the only person I could probably see winning at Money in the Bank is Daniel Bryan. I don't know why, but we'll just see what happens anyways. RBD's coming back. I know he's not gonna win, though. It's pretty fucking obvious. And at the end of Raw, right after CM Punk won, Daniel Bryan comes out and attacks CM Punk and he attacks fucking uh, Randy Orton with a fucking chip ladder. So that was pretty That was pretty much it. It was a pretty good role in my opinion. So let me know what y'all think about it. Until next time, peace. Watch, motherfuckers. That's right, people. I said it was a pretty good role. You watch it if you want to watch the replay, people. The replay doesn't lie. It's just like me, people. Fucking whores.